Back with another relatively quick video, I went to a thrift store called Teen Challenge and they had um, a sale on VCR tapes and uh, records. And VCR tapes were five for a dollar and records were ten for a dollar. Um, the nice thing about Teen Challenge, unlike some of the corporate Goodwills, is that you can find some really unusual titles there and Goodwill usually calls those out and sells them through some sort of online vendor, I'm pretty sure of it. I never find anything except for super common things like Titanic and stuff. At least they do here. So we'll go through the tapes real quickly first. And I found this thing called, uh, it's put out by FHE, Fam Family Home Entertainment. Fully animated video cassette of Cricket in Times Square. Oops, that's the back of it. There's Cricket in Times Square. I don't know if any of you remember that from when they were a kid. Uh, then I got something called uh, POV, uh, Peter Gabriel, so that'd be fun to watch. And then if you remember uh, the British uh, uh, comedy series of uh, uh, Red Dwarf, out in, they're in outer space. So I grabbed three of those tapes. I used to watch those on PBS a little bit. It came on after something, maybe after Doctor Who, I don't really remember when they came on. I didn't really particularly get it when I was a kid, but... It might be fun to watch. And then I grabbed something called Surf, an animated environmental video by Larry Wood. I don't know what it is, but it was interesting. Might be something I can fall asleep to. Then I've got this very appropriate Carol Barnett show, A Reunion. There's Tim Conway right there on the end. Uh, R.I.P. Mr. Conway. And then I got Harry and the Lady Next Door by Gene Zion. It's basically a sequel to the best-selling film, best-selling film, Harry and the Dirty Dog. Okay, it's an adaptation of Gene Zion's classic children's book. I've never seen that before. That may not be uh, on DVD. I wouldn't think so. Two more tapes and we'll get to the records here. This is Spirit of the Northwest, K2, uh, Channel 2, Wild Winter. I think this is the Flood of 96 or something, 98? I'm not really sure. A long time ago, uh, but neat. And it's all it's in there, and um, there was a big storm here in the valley a long time ago that was uh, very famous. And then I got something stupid, probably Bette Midler, Lily Tomlin, and Big Business. Um, so it's in a VCR, I mean a video store clamshell from Hollywood Video. Anyway, so there's that. Now we'll get to the records here if I can squeeze them in here. Most of these smelled, and most of them were in bad condition. But for ten cents a piece, I am not going to crab. Um, here is Truck Driving Cat with uh, Nine Wives, Jim Nesbitt. As I said, ten cents a piece. I'm not going to really worry about it. Let's see if I can get... Maybe I could do it that way. So there's that one. On chart. Marlo Thomas and Friends. Free to be you and me. That's a, These are the kind of records you don't want to spend any money on. And this is what Goodwill had for three ninety nine or two ninety nine. Um, in about the same condition and, and it smelled about the same, maybe worse. Wanda Jackson in person recorded at Mr. Lucky's in Phoenix, Arizona. I think I need to um, clean that. It looks like it was dropped and, and uh, some dirt got on it. Um, here is Floyd Kramer. Why did I pick up Floyd Kramer? Because he's doing the theme of Dallas and more. Dallas, a Little House on the Prairie, Incredible Hulk, Walton's Mash and Taxi and others. Floyd Kramer, I didn't know he did that. There's that one. Here's a night... The lights went out in Georgia, Vicki Lawrence. This is a pretty good condition copy on Bell. There were two copies, and I almost bought both of them, but I uh, figured, eh, one's enough. So there's that one. Um, here's the, well, I was going to say the moms and dads, but pretty darn close. The Brothers 4, a new world's record. Again, I would never pay any money for these, and I really didn't. Uh, so there's that one. we got three or four more here. Nat King Cole, you're my everything, but this is on Pickwick, unfortunately. Even so, the first one is probably not really all that valuable. You can see where there's a price sticker up there at one point. Um, anyway, and they had lots of other ones that looked cool, but there was no record inside. Elton Britt, The Wandering Cowboy, ABC Paramount Records. Oops, sorry. There's that one. That one's in not too terrible condition for, what, 10 cents? I got this one called Greased Lightning, uh, TV Records, 1978. That one. And then the last one we got the Leuven Brothers. Um, I forget what the Leuven's first names were. I, I just, I should know that. Um, 
Uh, Tragic Songs of Life on Capitol. There's that one. And that is the last record I had to show, but uh, I spent a whopping three bucks down at that store, and, and Goodwill would have been three dollars or just one, one item. So that's crazy. Um, but anyway, if you have any other local thrift stores that beat out your Goodwill, you can always mention that or show some of that stuff in your video if you're not getting any sports cards or autographs in the mail. And that's what I have for you on this video, and thank you for watching.